Hello viewers, good morning. Welcome to our channel, Upper Public School, and I am Ajay Dutt, your biology teacher. So, my dear students, so in the previous class, we have finished about the female reproductive system, and the uh, and in the last previous class, we also finished about the male reproductive system. Now, in today's class, we are going to deal with the fertilization events occurring after fertilization, then few more concepts such as implantation, then placenta, gestation, then reproductive health. So under reproductive health, birth control and STDs. So regarding STDs, we are going to do mainly taking example of the HIV, mainly taking the example of HIV. We are going to deal about all these things in today's class. So I will begin the class with the fertilization. So fertilization, as I've already said you that, fusion of male and female gamete that is fusion of sperm fusion of sperm and egg together makes fertilization together makes fertilization when male gamete and female gamete they mix together that process is called as fertilization they, that process is called as fertilization so what happens in fertilization okay at the climax of sexual intercourse okay it is at the climax of the sexual intercourse. The men ejaculates semen into female's body. The men ejaculates semen into female's body. And in that semen, we are having millions of sperms which are motile, which are motile. Okay. This is a rough structure of the sperm. Okay. So this sperm is going to this ecosome and all those things, various structures of the sperm. We are going to study in higher studies. So this sperm is going to go and fuse with the egg, with the egg over there. Okay. So this sperm is going and fusing with the egg. Where is it going and fusing? So egg is non-motile. That is, it, it will be there in the place where it is. That is, after releasing from the ovary, it is available in the fallopian tube. And this sperm which we which is in the fluid called as the semen is going to travel to this millions of sperms are going to travel going to travel to the egg out of millions of sperm only one sperm is allowed to mix or one sperm is allowed to get into the um, get into the egg get into the egg so only one sperm is going to fertilize the egg in rare cases Two sperms are also going to fertilize. That is a condition is called as polyspermia. Okay, that condition is called as polyspermia, which is not usual one, which is not usual one. Okay. So usually what happens? Only one sperm is entering into egg, and there the nucleus of the sperm is going to fuse with the nucleus of the egg. That is two nucleus. That is two nuclei are going to fuse. Okay. Once this fusion of male and female gamete takes place by the process called as fertilization by the process called as fertilization so now the male nucleus and the female nucleus that is the sperm and the egg have fertilized they, they are mixed together the fertilization took place so what happens after fertilization formation of zygote formation of zygote takes place so what is this zygote 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 is the first stage of development of the fetus it is the first stage of development of fetus after fertilization zygote formation takes place zygote is nothing but it is a round or a spherical mass of uh, mass or it is the, the egg which has been just fertilized is called as the zygote okay simply to, how, how, how can we uh, say what is a zygote zygote is nothing but the the egg which has been fertilized immediately it is called as the zygote which is consisting of the nucleus of the sperm and nucleus of the egg okay so that is the zygote that is the zygote after fertilization formation of zygote takes place so in the previous class i have already said you that the zygote is undergoing repeated cell divisions that is from one single uh, uh, spherical structure it is going to split into two cells then into four, then into eight, then in such a way, they are going to split. They are going to split. And after splitting, they form 
they form into a, a spherical mass of cell spherical mass of the cell and this is spherical mass of the cell is called as module okay this spherical mass of the cell is called as module okay module or module module okay so zygote is laid that is after three weeks it is now becoming a module so this module after cleavage is coming back to uterus so all this thing is happening in the fallopian tube okay fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube so after the formation of marula what is happening this marula is coming down to uterus so suppose this is the uterus so in this uterus what is happening is the from fallopian tube the module is coming back to the uterus and this is where implantation takes place this is where implantation takes place so what is this implantation the attachment of the marula to the wall of the uterus or simply the attachment of zygote if if, if you are feeling difficulty in saying that marula is going to attach you can simply say that the zygote after cleavage goes and attaches to the wall of the uterus so this process of attachment of the marula to the uterus is called as implantation is called as the implantation okay implantation means attachment of the marula to the wall of the uterus to the is called as implantation so second one is implantation so after implantation that is once marula formation takes place so it is undergoing several stages like blastula then gastrula okay after gastrula organogenesis then embryo then into fetus okay first male and female gametes fuse to form zygote okay zygote undergoes a repeated cell division called as cleavage to form marula marula it just goes and implants into the wall of the uterus then blastula a stage begins it is uh, it is one of the most important step in the development of the embryo that is development of the fetus usually okay blastula takes place then there is a, a fluid filled cavity called as blastocele and all those things which are going to deal in the higher class, higher studies then gastrulation takes place that is conversion of blastula blastocele that is blastula into gastrula is gastrulation so it is one of the step in this gastrulation what is happening three layers are formed that is three germ layers as i have already said you the ectoderm ectoderm external part endoderm internal part like blood and all those things meso uh, sorry mesoderm the middle part and the last one that is endoderm this internal parts of the body three germ layers are going to form ectoderm outer parts middle mesoderm inner endoderm these these three germ layers are going to form that is in the gastrula this is also one of the key important stage in the development of the fetus then after this gastrula stage organogenesis takes place organogenesis means formation of the vital organs within your body like it may be your brain it may be your heart blood sorry not blood liver it may be kidney it may be lungs it may be so all these organs are developed after gastrulation after gastrulation okay it is organogenesis and after organogenesis it is now called as embryo it is now called as a embryo and embryo later after uh, after few several weeks turns into fetus turns into fetus this is the developmental stage this is the developmental stage in case of human beings so i'll just systematically read them
so this is how the development stage is there is sperm fuses with the egg to form zygote zygote after cleavage turns into marula marula after implantation it turns into blastula then blastula into gastrula gastrula formation of three germ layers ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm after the formation of three germ layers organogenesis takes place organogenesis is formation of organs after formation of some vital organs it turns into embryo then into the fetus then into the fetus this is how the development sta development stage is in human beings that is in human embryology em embryology okay so this is all about the fertilization and stages of development in after fertilization and i have already said you about the implantation it is attachment of the morule or morula attachment of morula to the wall of the uterus to the wall of the uterus is known as implantation so after implantation so one more important structure is the placenta so what is this placenta placenta is the biological connection or physiological connection between the mother and the fetus so mother and the fetus are connected together with a biological or physiological connection called as the placenta and in the placenta we are having one of the structure called as umbilical cord one of the structure called as umbilical cord what is this umbilical cord so umbilical cord is a toughest structure it is also one of the toughest structure which is the bladder vessels which is mainly made up of the blood vessels it is acting as a blood vascular system it is acting as a blood vascular system okay so this umbilical cord is responsible for various activities related to the transportation that is transportation of the glucose it may be supply of oxygen it may be taking out carbon dioxide from the body of the fetus so all these things happen through umbilical cord and that umbilical cord is present inside the placenta so that is the main role of the placenta and the umbilical cord so this embryo it develops into a sac or a, a bag like structure like a carry bag okay very thin so the bag like structure called as uh, amnion okay okay the bag like structure which is going to protect or which is uh, which is covering the, the the growing embryo is called as amnion okay and this amnion is filled with the fluid called as amniotic 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 fluid okay amniotic fluid and this amniotic fluid which is filled in the amnion in this amnion the embryo is growing so this amniotic fluid acts as a shock absorbent acts as a shock absorbent rest to transportation of various vital materials that is like oxygen glucose okay so all those things in the form of blood that is in the form of blood only that is being transported that is from the body of the mother to the body of the fetus okay so the transportation takes place through placenta and in this placenta we are having the umbilical cord in that we are having the umbilical cord so placenta inside placenta umbilical cord and this umbilical cord is going helping for transportation of glucose o2 co2 etc okay and in a carry bag like structure or in a covering or in a sac like structure or in a bag like structure that is called as amnion filled with the fluid called as amnion embryo is going to develop the embryo is going to develop this is all about the placenta this is all about the placenta so in uh, next is gestation what is this gestation gestation can be simply called as pregnancy it is simply called as pregnancy so implantation usually takes place after one week of fertilization after one week of fertilization implantation takes place and once implantation takes place 
then only we can say that she ha she has conceived or she is pregnant she is pregnant or she has conceived we can say okay that is what is a gestation so gestation is the period of pregnancy it is the period of pregnancy gestation or simply called as the pregnancy it is the period where the fetus is developing into the mother's womb so never ever say that the fetus develops into mother's stomach so usually in our vernacular languages we say that the fetus is going to develop into stomach so nowhere the fetus is going to develop into the in the stomach okay so it is going to develop into the womb of the mother it is going to develop, develop into the womb of the mother stomach is a part of digestive system and we are dealing with reproductive system so never be in misunderstanding that the fetus is going to develop into the stomach no yes we say that the baby is going to develop into stomach no it is in the, it is usually in the abdomen okay it is usually in the abdomen cavity of the body that is in the lower portions of the body inside womb their development of the fetus takes place not in the stomach stomach is a part of digestive system so never be under confusion then next is we are going to the gestation period of human beings so gestation period in human beings is lasting for about 9 months okay so in case of uh, cow it is 9 months in case of buffalo it is 10 months 10 days so in case of uh, cat and dog it is about 65 to 70 days that is dog it is 58 to 70 days means 58 to 68 usually 58 to 60 days and in case of elephant it is 22 months okay in such uh, cases that is in various organisms in various group of mammals the gestation period is also varying it is also varying so if you take elephant only so in african elephants it is of 22 months whereas in asiatic elephants it is uh, around 18 to 22 months so gestation period is varying there from species to species among the various group of uh, mammals among the various group of mammals okay so you already in the vivi paris and also ov vivi paris ov paris egg laying vivi paris giving birth to young ones directly ovo vivi paris giving birth, that is laying eggs as well as hatching it and then just giving birth to young ones they are called as ovo vivi paris the example is shark it lays eggs within its body only then it, the, the eggs are going to hatch and then directly the baby sharks are coming out of the body so it is laying eggs as well as it is giving birth to young ones directly so that is called as ovo vivi paris animals got it so this was extra information about the 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 reproduction in various group of uh, organisms then the next we are going to deal with the reproductive health so under the heading reproductive health we are mainly going to deal with the birth control and sts so what do you mean by birth control so birth control is so as we all know so increasing human population is a greater uh, problem nowadays faced by every uh, growing country okay so every growing country is facing one of the difficulty that is population explosion that is nothing but the increased number of human beings increased the number of human population that is leading to various uh, in the countries which are not yet developed which are not yet developed it is also causing several socio economic crisis it is also causing several socio economic crisis is that clear so in order to control that they are having several methods we are having several methods so under birth control so let me clear this one then i let you know so under birth control so contraception means avoiding unwanted pregnancy contraception means un avoiding unwanted pregnancy okay so one of the best method under contraception oh, sorry we have several methods of contraception we are going to deal today what do you mean by contraception 
is avoiding unwanted pregnancy pregnancy that is avoiding unwanted pregnancy is called as contraception okay so this contraception is most important method for controlling the population of the human beings for controlling the population of the human beings okay okay so what 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 are the various steps or what are the various methods of contraception so various methods of contraception are the first and foremost method is natural methods then second one is mechanical method mechanical method third one is chemical method chemical method mechanical method and natural methods so how do we get rid of unwanted pregnancy naturally so under natural methods of contraception we are having two methods that is the first and foremost method is rhythmic rhythmic method and is just avoiding the fusion avoiding the fusion or fertilization that is withdrawing method so under natural contraception so one can make use of the rhythmic methods that is what is this rhythmic method is in a rhythmic method so they are making they are going to make use of the menstrual cycle and depending upon the days or safe period uh, they are going to have the uh, uh, sexual intercourse and in safe period they are having sexual intercourse there will no be there will not be any release of the egg and when there is no release of any egg there is no matter of fertilization and pregnancy so that is the rhythmic method and what is this withdrawing method so immediately before ejaculation the sexual intercourse is stopped that is called as withdrawing method when with when uh, the human beings undergo this withdrawing method there will not be any ejaculation within the vagina so therefore no there is no matter of pregnancy and contraception in the withdrawing methods so this rhythmic method and withdrawing methods are the natural methods of the contraception then coming to the mechanical methods so we are having several mechanical methods such as usage of uh, uh, devices iud's then usage of condoms then usage of cervical caps or diaphragm so these are the three different mechanical methods of avoiding pregnancy using certain devices which could irritate the uterus and then they could lead to the miscarriage or contraception that is one of the method in case of females then usage of condoms that is both male and female condoms are available if they are made use of these condoms then there is no matter of fertilization then diaphragm it is also used in case of females so that is also called as a cervical cap which is used during the sexual intercourse which prevents the entry of the semen into the, the into the uh, vagina that is after the, the cervix where uh, actually the fertilization begins okay so they, that is prevented in the mechanical methods iud is condoms in the diaphragm are the three important mechanical methods okay rhythmic and withdrawing are the two natural methods then the last one is chemical method so under chemical methods we are having two things that is usage of spermicides that is certain chemicals or gels or creams are applied so that the sperms die because of those chemicals uh, either on the penis or on, in the vagina so that the sperms die once they are uh, ejaculated within the body usage of spermicides is one of the method then most common method is usage of oral pills so in case of females 
so they use certain tablets so those tablets are nothing but the the hormones which could avoid pregnancy which could avoid pregnancy okay so such a tablets which are avoiding pregnancy like there are several tablets so within uh, 72 hours if the the female takes them then there would not be any implantation over there there would not be any implantation over there fertilization takes place but no implantation takes place no implantation no pregnancy so taking tablets is oral means through mouth oral pills okay taking tablets then usage of herbicides so these are the two chemical methods so natural method mechanical method and chemical method are the three important methods of preventing unwanted pregnancy that is contraception now let us deal with the next that is stds that is actually the reproductive health so what is this std std uh, means sexually transmitted disease std means sexually transmitted disease so the diseases which can also pass from or which can also uh, infect one person to another person through means of reproduction or through means of sexual intercourse such a diseases which are transmitted from person to person by the means of sexual intercourse they are called as sexually transmitted diseases they are called as sexually transmitted diseases uh, that gonorrhea uh, are having syphilis we are having then hiv are having okay so these are all the different types of stds these are all the different types of stds so we are uh, focusing mainly on the aids okay so what is this aids std first let us write about the std yes t d sexually transmitted disease okay sexually transmitted disease so these are okay so we are going to deal with the aids aids stands for acquired so aids stands for acquired immuno deficiency syndrome okay acquired means gain immuno so which is going to cause deficient in the immunity so immuno deficiency syndrome syndrome is usually a group of disease it is usually a group of disease so when a person gets infected with the uh, hiv virus so h i v is a virus so he later gains this situation or condition called as aids aids is not a disease it is a syndrome syndrome means group of diseases so once a person gets infected with the hiv what happens day by day he loses his uh, defense mechanism that is he loses his immunity so when he loses his immunity because of simple causative agents he may die it may be fatal to him so it may be fatal to him if he is just undergoing some dust allergy also he may die because his immunity system has completely broken down it is it, it is it has been completely broken down so a person who is infected with the hiv they are always given art tablets so art tablets are just they are just delaying your death they are just delaying your death suppose a person is going to die today so by taking certain art tablets okay so he can die tomorrow or day after tomorrow so they are just delaying the death in case of uh, the aids but it is not a uh, we are it, it is not a completely curable disease okay because no vaccine have been discovered yet in case of aids so what that is there is a saying or there is a proverb that is prevention is better than cure so how can we prevent this hiv infection so hiv infection can be prevented by various methods like 
appropriate sexual behavior okay like appropriate sexual behavior in babies okay or you can say that responsible so responsible sexual behavior is one of the most key important step in preventing hiv then second one is awareness amongst youngsters then third one is avoiding pregnancy if mother is found positive then meticulous or screening blood during transfusion so these important methods or important preventive methods of a person being infected with the hiv so if you want to prevent hiv so you can use the following methods by performing responsible sexual behavior that is avoiding multiple partners that is one of the most important method of avoiding the oh, hiv okay then awareness among the people that is so we can create um, awareness among the people regarding the safe practices such as using single sterile uh, syringes then disposable blades in the barber shop uh, that is cutting salon and all those things so practicing certain safe methods so uh, also uh, prevents the in, uh, spread of infection of uh, hiv infection or infection of the uh, hiv then the next one is avoiding pregnancy if the mother is found positive so you can uh, avoid pregnancy if the mother is found positive it is she is tested positive for hiv she can avoid pregnancy or if not she can uh, take various uh, step various step or uh, she uh, there is medical steps to avoid the transfer of the blood which is rich in hiv virus that is by avoiding breastfeeding and all those things she can avoid the pregnancy she can avoid the transfer of this hiv virus into the developing fetus body then screening the blood during the transfusion okay during the donation of the blood so the receivers they must be confident that the blood which they are receiving is not having any virus like hiv and all those things so these are the various important methods of preventing hiv preventing hiv so these all things we are studying under the reproductive health so these things we are going to study under the reproductive health so in today's class what all things we have uh, studied i'll just make a note of them then i'll conclude my class so in today's class we have mainly dealt with dealt with the fertilization various stages of fertilization fertilization stages of fertilization all those things you have finished then implantation implantation we have finished then structure of placenta that is placenta umbilical cord and all those things we have finished then after that finish about various stages then we have also dealt with the reproductive health
so under reproductive health child birth then contraceptive methods or then we are dealt with the stds okay so these all things we have studied in today's class that is fertilization uh, then implantation then placenta reproductive health along with one more thing it is gestation gestation okay so with various examples of elephant cat dog buffalo and cow okay so this is what we have studied in today's class fertilization implantation gestation placenta reproductive health child birth control or birth control then regarding the sexually transmitted diseases so this is what we have learned in today's class by this we are concluding the chapter that is how do organisms reproduce so meet you in the next till then signing off thank you